We are the Elson family, Joe, Tegan and three-year-old Oliver. 12 months ago, we packed up our apartment and sold our possessions to travel full-time. Join our family for our travels and adventures across the world. Good morning, everyone. Here we are at top of the world, at the top of the hill with Ella. And we're gonna start our day of adventure. First of all, we're just gonna soak this in because look how beautiful this is. Stay in a little homestay. We've got two rooms, one for Grammy, one for the Elson family. If you look in the background here as well, we've got a, a waterfall. Let's show you around. So this is about £30 a night, breakfast included. Breakfast should be coming here. Look at this beautiful room. What views you have when you wake up in the morning? Oh, I was, it was Congrats. wonderful. We are very envious. <laughs> Amazing. So today we are going to go to Nine Arch Bridge for the half nine train after our eight o'clock breakfast. And uh, then we're going to uh, head up to Little Adam's Peak. We're not going to do the big peak today because it's a four hour hike and we've only got two days here. Uh, but we'll, um, yeah, we'll show you around. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh wow. yum. Thank you Yummy. so much. <laughs> so our first tuk-tuk of the day, we are heading to Nine Arch Bridge. Yeah. You wanna go see a train, Holly? Yeah. So we had breakfast uh, a little bit late, so we're running a little bit behind schedule, but we are, we should make the half nine train. So uh, watch the train go across. Is it 9.20, is it? <laughs> it makes this sound. Oh. Choo choo! You're gonna do it. Do you need ah. us to get out? Ready, go to the tuck! You look crazy! <laughs> now you have to go by walk? No yeah. worries. So, that was a fun ride, wasn't it, guys? Yeah. Uh, big steep hills, lots to see. About 15 minutes took took from town. And now he's got to walk the last little bit. Ollie looks like he's having fun. I'm really fun. Yeah. Oh, there's a coffee shop. Oh. We've just got to the, the bridge and it is absolutely spectacular. And squat. This beautiful bridge, surrounded by tea plantations, was built in 1921. You can access the bridge via the Nine Art Bridge car park, then it's roughly a 10 minute walk or so through the jungle. You can also get a tuk-tuk to drive you as close as possible to the bridge, making it a very short walk. Just expect to pay a little bit more. The train goes through at numerous times throughout the day, but we'd recommend the 920 train, as this is most likely to be on time. We suggest getting there half an hour beforehand so you have time to walk around on the track, get your photos and get ready for the train to go over the bridge. That was really cool. That is us completed. Nine Arch Bridge. Nine Arch Bridge. That was amazing. Yeah, it's it really fun actually. Incredible. Oliver had lots and lots of fun. Again, you can just... Uh, climb on the uh, climb on the tracks of the train the train was pretty spectacular and the uh, just the scenery the tea plantations beautiful to our next adventure now which is little Adams Peak Thank you. We're, all in. we're all ready yeah. ready for our next adventure did you have fun Oliver with the train tracks yeah yeah did you do lots of jumping <laughs> what was your favourite bit? Jumping. Jumping. My one in the in the tunnel. Right, we've 
left Grammy and Ollie behind. It's so, about part two of adventure. Go for it. We're, going, we're just going for drinks. <laughs> Part two of the adventure, bringing up Little Adam's Peak. Yeah. Uh, all the advice we got was to go early <laughs> and uh, go there for sunrise, go there before it gets too hot. So we've decided to ignore that and we're now going at half past it. 10. Yeah. So just arrived at Little Adam's Peak. Looks like there's everything here zip lines, yeah. archery massages cafes wow i think that might be a coffee shop maybe with a view more tea well yeah tea tea probably makes a little bit more sense yeah. but, uh a pool club Havana pool club should we do that yeah that's what we should do now yeah <laughs> just look at this stunning walk up that was the first 10 minutes without a three-year-old I keep actually looking for him <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering where I put his backpack because he loves his adventure backpack but never wants to hold it himself <laughs> just the peace and quiet and the ability to walk at a normal pace oh he's gonna wash oh. this back <laughs> so we've got 300 steps Tegan's got to 23 so far and is ready to ready for mutiny. There's an opportunity to go across the next peak. But it's a good climb down. It's not too bad. So, uh, solo adventure here because uh, it's a bit steep. So, apologies Ugh. for the rubbish footage there. But I am climbing down a mountain. <laughs> and very hot and sweaty and very out of breath. And I made it. Actually, no, I haven't. There's another ridge there. Just check out that road that you come into Ella with. How windy it is. And there it is. I'm sure if you can see with the waterfall that we saw on the way up. It is absolutely beautiful up here. Let's go have a look at the other side. You want to stay? Uh, I'm staying in Ella for a couple of days, but I'm I mean, second, second you second time, yeah. You've done it before. Day. That's why he's not even. You look, you look out of breath. He's fine. Yeah. He's like, no problem. I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yeah. Back up there. So we made it across to the second peak. For my solo side mission. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, to be honest. Um, when you get there, you see lots of people turning around because it looks a bit steep. It's actually okay, it's pretty safe thing. So keep going guys, keep going. My motivation for the day. Joe Wicks of YouTube, go. <laughs> Top of the world! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I read this up every day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Then back down, Adam's Peak. A lot easier coming down. Yeah, <laughs> way easier than going up. That was good fun though. Yeah, it really was awesome. Spectacular views and uh, yeah, worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Not that bad too. We haven't got time, but that looks a lot of fun. I want to go on the zip line. I'd do that. Will you do it with me? Yeah. Yeah. I want to go. I think that would just be amazing. Okay, we're coming back to Ella. Who was strap holding on? Strap -holy on. <laughs> yeah. I'll have no babysitter, so I'll have to, uh, have to come on. One at a time. It might let us. <laughs> we're going for a well deserved coffee in Ella. So, this is the centre of Ella, and we've got coffee shops. 
which has had a nice flat white, which is always a treat. Yeah. Uh, lots of bars. It wasn't either, it was yeah. 1300. There's a fantastic restaurant we went to last night called Little Restaurant Ella. Um, it's about three, four tables, but really good. Um, and uh, if you're hungry as well, literally they'll come and top your curry up. Too bad. Great, wasn't it? Really good. Lots of little bits and pieces. Certainly like four times the price of uh, anywhere else though. Because yeah. we're in tourist town. Yeah. So we come here at nine, there was lots going on. Um, you see a real big fat packer scene here. So um, if we were a little bit closer, we might, uh, might have had a beer or two. Chill Cafe. That was your emergency stop in the uh, Chill Cafe. <laughs> As we're Oliver Free now, we're not sure what to do with ourselves. <laughs> we're like, we're rushing, but we've got a bit of time. From four till ten, that is a one wow, cool awesome. happy hour. Are we going down tonight? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely plenty in Ella. There is lots and lots and lots of restaurants. That looks pretty cool, that rooftop. Yeah. That's one of my things I'd like to do. <laughs> How much for a day rental then? Uh, $40. $40. Uh, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, 13,000 Sri Lankan rupees. And these are, is that two, 350? 350. 350, yeah. How much? $40 a day. We're pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, you're just scouting out the. Uh, train station prior to tomorrow because we have a lot of luggage what a beautiful beautiful train station we'll show you this again tomorrow but it's absolutely uh, essentially tea plantations around in the station right, we're doing the great race to beat beat the rain see if we can do it we've got to go up back up the hill check out this rain When it rains, it rains. So dinner tonight at our homestay. We've got chicken, pumpkin, carrots, green beans, salad, poppadoms, eggs, dal, and rice. And we've got Yum. dinner in the clouds. Yum. Look at this. What's in my hair? This was just the beginning. Hundreds and hundreds of flying ants were flying into our dinner, into our room, under the doors. We have never seen anything like this before. What we didn't know was that we were meant to turn off all the lights so they would redirect towards a different light. So we were very late to the party. The owners of the homestay quickly came to help us and then helped us clean up after they all disappeared. Wow, what an experience. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our trip around Ella. Click and subscribe so you don't miss our next video as we take the most beautiful train ride across Sri Lanka towards Kandy.